So now that we've got the rocks are in, we've got them painted up and everything. Um, we've got a base coat of brown, not perfect, but that's okay. We can now begin to add our ground foam, ground covering over top of this, and then the trees will go on over that. So I just grabbed a box from my basement and loaded it up with some of my different scenery products that I have. Um, so there's a lot of different methods and ways that you can go about doing this. We obviously want to avoid getting any on our stones. So um, I'm just going to keep a paintbrush handy, um, just one of these small cheap ones. That way if I do get any in there, I can just brush it off. Um, and then I'm going to apply the wet water or I, I use rubbing alcohol. Um, I just keep it in a spray bottle here. And then I've got a little scenic glue sprayer here also um, that will spray that stuff on. So um, sometimes I use an eyedropper as well for the scenic -ing. I'm gonna try to use the sprayer today. We'll see if it, uh, if it works or not, if I like it. Um, when dealing with slopes like this, some of the times if we, we just got a little bit of this, it'll, the, you know, when you go to apply the foam, it dries, it just falls straight down, right? Um, so sometimes what I'll do is I'll come around and I'll just hit it just to wet the surface and give, and I'm just using, that's just the alcohol, give the foam something to grab onto. And then you can see how that foam will, you know, it sticks there. You hit it again, add a little bit more. And then we can come around, we'll hit it again with this, and then we'll hit it with the glue as well. The problem with the glue, sometimes you get those really big drops and you can see what happens. It'll kind of like pull that foam together, but we're gonna have layers and layers onto this um, and uh, make it nice and green. So it's just gonna take a little bit of time, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing this and then we'll check it out when it's done. So once that's um, on, I've got, a, obviously, you, know, you can see a, a pretty good base um, for, for uh, all this. I could have probably put something to catch some of this down here, um, some of the extra, but I'm, I'm not really concerned about that. So um, we've got, you'll see there's, there is some foam like in the rocks, and that's going to be natural because you're going to get, that's how it would look, you know, wherever, if it can, if soil or grass can hang on when I drop it here, that's going to happen in real life also. So I brushed off a lot at the beginning, and then I'll leave some now. Um, there's still some spots here that we need to fill in a little bit more. The white that's shining through here actually resembles a lot of the color of the stone. So I actually don't mind that. Uh, plus we're gonna cover this with trees as well. Um, if there's other spots where it's steeper slope that I, you want foam um, or ground cover, you can use some super glue and then apply um, your foam to that. Hit it with like a zap sealer and that'll quick lock it in place. I'll probably do that maybe when we get downstairs to the layout, but I wanna get the trees on here, let this dry, add the trees and see where the gaps are, and then we'll fill in with some more uh, like sea, or like uh, forest floor ground covers, things like that. So this was all done with Woodland Scenics so far. We're gonna add some, some different ground covers later on um, from some other um, companies, um, but let's let this dry and then we'll, we'll begin adding trees. All right, so one of the things that I'd like to do on this hill um, is, is put some sort of path in, um, you know, that we could put some hikers. Um, you know, there's some spots that are, it's obviously very steep, not, not ideal, but what we could do is because this side here is going to be connected to another section, something to bridge that continuity would be to have some sort of path that comes across and perhaps kind of comes, you know, along the ridge. I was thinking about having something drop down in here in a pathway that kind of comes around and then down um, just to add another another scenic element to that. To do a pathway, um, you know, you can use, obviously just get some sifted topsoil um, to make that work. Um, I'm going to use um, some fine ground cover uh, from Brennan's natural ground cover um, for Brennan's model railroading. Uh, that's where I get my ballast from and things like that. And so, you know, Again, proper planning, I would have had this all marked out ahead of time and known exactly what I wanted to do and cut that path into the hill. Um, 
but what I can do is just kind of scrape away some of this ground cover um, and, and just, I'm just going to use a spoon on my fingers and just sprinkle this, this ground cover in to create kind of that pathway. Um, and then we'll build it up, make it a little bit wider as, as it goes along and then kind of have it cut back down maybe towards the track. Uh, but I think we'll do the ridge here and then maybe have a little, see if I can get a section to come down. Maybe we could do some rope climbing or something here with these rocks perhaps, um, and make a little, another little cool scene. So that is going to be the plan. So let's give it a shot. Goes Amtrak. All right, so we've got a pathway there. I decided to have it just kind of come along the ridge or like midline here and then come back up. And then we have some rock climbers here, some rocks here they could mess around on also. Um, we're going to come over with some undergrowth, add a little bit more texture, um, and then just going to hit it with some of this alcohol to give it something to hold on to. And again, with this stuff, I usually just use my fingers to place that on. So I've got a box here of trees. Um, we are going to go ahead and begin placing these on here. Now, the effect that I'm going for is that this is like a backdrop area. Um, and so we want it to feel as though it's expansive and large and um, kind of goes on for a while to so what we can do is use some optical illusions to make it seem as though the hill goes higher and farther than it actually does. To do that, we place we plant bigger trees in the front and smaller trees in the back to make it feel as though they're farther away. So if I have a bigger tree, I'm going to plant it here in front. Um, let's start with some, some smaller ones. What we're going to do is just place them and then we're going to come back over with some hot glue. I have a tool here called an awl, um, got on Amazon, and this I'm just going to use to poke a hole and then place the trees in where we want them. And also make them a little bit shorter if we want to also. So we're going to start here, right along the back, make my hole, and then I'm going to place my tree. Just like that. When doing tree clusters, it's, um, you know, they tell you odd numbers is better. Um, trees be more common in odd numbers. Um, but for this, we're going to pretty much litter this hillside with them. So now some of these are a little heavy, right? So we have to go a hair deeper. And then, like I said, we're going to hot glue these in place too. So as we do this, um, you know, I've got a tree here. I'm pulling some of the lower branches off. Um, I'm going to hold on to those. That's going to be like some scrub brush that we can actually use um, in this scene as well, just to thicken up the, the kind of the floor area. The ground. All right, so we've got the trees on there. I still have a few um, that I haven't put on. Uh, they're still in the box. I'm going to wait until I get this down on the layout. And then, you know, I need to make sure that I've got some trees um, off the hill as well. Um, and so I wanna make sure that I'm using the same trees from the same batch, because perhaps I'll change something next time. Um, if I use different ground foam or just a minor different technique, um, I don't want the trees to look completely different if they're right next to one another. Obviously you want some diversity, but um, so I've got about five trees left that I'll, once I get some layout, they'll go around close to the, the barn and the farm scene that this will be backing. But I think it came together really, really well for the first time actually doing this. So we gotta get some, I think we get some figures, some animals in there as well. But yeah, 